how dare y'all welcome back to Rabbi to Paper Mario Z Thousand Year Lore. I don't know why I paused there, but I did. And it is a new year and we are gonna listen to a story. Went the wrong way. Alright, so we have preparations to do before we go into the Palace of Shadow. But first, before we run off, we to listen to a story. Here and talk to this guy. Good afternoon to you, sir. I'm called Grifty, traveling minstrel. I spent my days here and leisure spinning tales that spin the sea and sense us. I know a few of the stories that surround us, talking at Roport. If you like, I can share them with you, but it will probably require just a few coins. Is there a tale you want to hear? These are the tales I can tell you now. The Fearsome Demon. Bring me five coins, I can share you with the tale of the Fearsome Demon. Tell the tale. Ages ago, a city flourished here in peace and splendor. But it was destroyed in a single day by a demon from dark beyond. The historians claim a great calamity fell to the city, but nay, it was a demon. The city sank below the ground, and the core of the old city became the demon's den. The demon put fear in the hearts of all, all men and sent out many to take, to take land. In its den, its palace grew rich with treasure stolen from all over the world. If there's another tale you wish to hear, just ask. The Crystal Stars. Bring me five coins, I can tell you to create crystal stars. In order to increase its already formidable power, the increased credit of the crystal stars hold the essence of the heavens. One of these stars was placed in each country to, to exert the demon's influence. One of these castles built of contending stars stands, still stands near pale metals. There's no telling you what it here, just ask. Dra dragons and dungeons. He even built a dungeon near the palace and filled it with terrifying monsters. All those who fled into, dis into, into disfavor, disfavor, were thrown into the into this dungeon to rot. Yeah, and the demon also had three dragon pets: Hooktail, Gloomtail, and Bonetail. The dragons, these dragons, flew across the land, spreading fear and sorrow over all. If now the new mention of dragons is enough to give, give give them terrors. There's no tail. Oh, the, yeah, the hero who rose. The hero who rose. One day, there was a hero who could vanquish the fell demon. The young toad from Petamino was a strong of arm and but shy of voice. All around, on the boy teased him endlessly about the way he spoke. But when the demons cast his fearful gaze across the lands, it reached out. The young toad used his strength and honor to defend his people. He became a hero to all, despite his odd voice. The wise Goomba. Give me a five coins, yep. There was a wise Goomba in the Bobbly Woods, gifted into the knowledge of the world. The beast rose to take the woods, this knowledge helped people fight them. And this Goomba, who knew the way, the way that every monster would attack, she began to think of a way to banish all monsters from land. There's another tale, yep. It sounds familiar. Here we got, oh yeah. Let's start the Star Wars Koopa. A Koopa who traveled the world alone learned of, learned, learned of the darkness coming the land. He went along wherever evil dwelt and banished it with his with shell with shell and sheer brav, bravado. Bravado, sorry. Monsters grew in fear, the scar, the fear, fear of the scar riddle Koopa who thought of them at every turn. But the great Koopa was finally taken into a trap set for him by the monsters. But then the boo who fought with the monsters came and used a magic to free him. The great Koopa's spirit had melted the heart of the cold blue lass. The four heroes. Yeah. Boo used her power of magic to learn more about the evil they faced. We cannot destroy this darkness alone, she decided, her face a grim mask. We need to tow the to hero of Petamelos and Goomba of Bugly Woods. Boo's magic drew the four heroes together to send the demon from this world. And so the four heroes finally set out for the Palace of Shadow. A duel with the demon. The power of the world devouring to be a demon was greater than any, than any could imagine. The wise Goomba soon realized that this is the power of the crystal stars. She thought of a way to take the crystal stars and use them against the demon. She told the other heroes her plan with her plan and set in motion, banishing their fears. The moon's magic and the strength created a gap in the demon's defenses. At that moment, the brave Koopa sees the stars. 
succeeded in badly damaging the demon. It does no tail. Oh, Mario is asleep. <laughs> the demon sealed within. Oh, he was asleep. But even the brave Koopa's stroke was not enough to end, end the demon's reign. The wise Koopa thought of another use of the crystal stars in the dire hour. Just as the sealing the demon forever with the crystal stars, all agreed. The heroes matched their strength with the power of the crystal stars. This is to seal the demon's soul within the deepest part of the palace. Together they made it so only seven crystal stars could break the seal. There's no tail you want to hear? Yep. The demon's curse. The four heroes thought that they sealed away the demon and all of its powers. The demon used a tiny opening before the seal was complete to curse them all. While holding the crystal stars, they felt nothing, but when they let them go, a black box would appear to seal their souls within. Four heroes traveled the world scattering the stars, so the seal would remain. So the seal would remain. That's four crystal stars, that's four stars each carried the curse, which claimed each hero. There was another tale you wish to hear? Great Cheery and the Punies. The hiding place of many, many, many of the crystal stars had now faded into legend. But some say the wise Goomba hit one in the great tree. At that time, many monsters wandered into nearby bubbly woods. Tiny Punies were always tormented by the fierce appetites of his sin. Pitying them, the Goomba hollowed out the great tree for the Punies to live in. The Punies were so grateful that they swore to protect the crystal star there. The Boo the Heroine's Last Days. Once the Boo Heroine hit her star in a steeple, she was trapped in a nearby town. And she was trapped in a nearby town. Some said the crystal star lies in that steeple still. Pirate King Cortez. Goo Hero went to the southern island to hide the star where no one would find it. Then Koopa was so tired from his journey that the pirate Cortez stole it easily. In the very instant, the brave Koopa was trapped in an inescapable chest. Cortez did not realize the power of the star and lost and was lost and lost among his treasures. Toad Hero's final days. The strong Toad held his star and continued his arduous journey. But eventually, the miles took a toll upon him and he collapsed. The trapping healer had him by and saved his life. The toad knew his fate was to be trapped in that box and the star was gone. So he asked the healer to hide the star into a place no one no one would no, no one to no one. All became all becomes legend. After the demon was sealed with the palace of the, within the palace of shadow, many refused to come near the place of terror. But as the years passed and generations forgot, and the penniless memorial became began to congregate in this once barren place. This place soon became a perilous, populous harbor in the town of Rogueport. So, and some even began to say the town, underground town, underground city held a legendary treasure. But they were unaware the demons slept beneath them still. Magical map. The heroes knew that the seal might not last forever, and they sought to make the crystal stars available to, to one who might need them. So before going to their visual dooms, they made a map to all the stars. It's very ill for me using this map. I place it in a box open by the pure, pure of heart. Oh, that is it. So that leads to the events of this game. That, that took me a whole nine minutes to do. Alright. Alright, so we still got preparations in the Ouija story to do. So we we'll read his story. It's the adventures, of course. Me and my done me and done questing for now. Yep, let's go. Hates on tower another day and rest the pep. This princess like that. That's the one adventure I'm never gonna forget. Nope, it's just too exciting. It was just bonkers, bro. Wanna hear about what happened? It's a very long story. Yes. That sounds good to me. I'm just part of the story you wanna hear, bro. Hates on tower. Well, like I said, it's a very long story, and this part is just crazy. But here it goes. Hates on tower stands across the jackets on a uncommon cliff beyond the, the northmost sea. The winds whistled down the cliff like howling like great banshees, singing the songs of hate. People said it's pretty much the scariest place in the world, and I had to go there. Blocking out the bone chilling hell to send my man to be the tower's door. I was terrified, but the thoughts of Princess Claire were my heart and gave me power. 
All my combatants felt the same way. They were with me to the bitter end. The door of the tower swung open and revealed an inconceivable darkness. I tried to call out the prince to declare his name, but I couldn't even breathe because I my eyes in the darkness and saw the most terrifying beast of all. Just that king himself appeared before me. It was monstrous and drew. Ugh. Pearls of toxic goo dripped from his mouth, melting the very ground at our feet. I couldn't stop shaking, but I gritted my teeth and faced the evil beast dead on. I touched the king's fangs, on his chest, and gave him a hammer whack. My swings, my swings split the air and crushed the dead center and the chest of the king's skull. Pump powered me up, bro. I was going toe toe with the king and I was loving it. This is it, I thought. I can win this. I'm just gonna my next blow. <laughs> Put my hand up tight and wait. <laughs> Waiting for the moment my tent just stung me. Swat! <laughs> the ocean winds raged against the tower windows. With that sound and the call my battle, I advanced with numbers in my heart. And then. And then. Um, Luigi. I beat him. He defeated the I beat just a second. He was beast came down. I beat his worst beast came next to I remember thing, but I beat it too. <laughs> what? I was keeping this declare. It was all over. And then I came back to the rope port and had a, a light launch. That's about it. <laughs> huh? You think there's more to that story than that? I don't know. That's it. That's the whole story of the quest for Professor Declare. The end. Remember, just one end here, bro. They'll never end. You wanna hear what I've been up to? Just come find me, okay? I'll be around. How funny that he says that in tw this is 2019 this is being recorded. And Luigi's Mansion 3 was announced, announced a while back, so his adventures never, never have ended yet, so... Hey, you, remember me? It's me, Bluey. Hey, man, that last battle was Harry, you had no idea. <laughs> wow. I was going to quiz, but I was actually kind of relieved. You can believe that. If you want to hold the story, you should ask, ask Luigi here. <laughs> you, my voice. I'm good though. Now, does this top have anything? Yes, it has damage dodge on this. A stand shrink stop. Mm. So, I know my bad situation is horrible. It is not good at all. Oh, I, oh, I never had damage dodge. Anyway. Look at that type. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, but it's like the old. Yeah, power plus on. What does this do? Boost Mars defense are one. I might want those on instead of power plus because. I don't know. Yeah, I know my batch distortion is not that great. If I don't have any batch points, and we're gonna be actually be actually be Mario for the, this, and I need to. I need to trouble center first. Ugh. I don't think there might be more troubles, but I'm not 100 percent sure. Let's see. Hopefully they're not. If there is, then hopefully they're not bad. Oh, there's only three. Okay. Go, Bob. Delivery, please. I need to take something from General White. Please come and, come and get it with all speed. Maybe in Posse Heights. Yes. Alright, the last thing is we can just go to Posse Heights. Because I want to get everything done possible before we go into Pass Shadow. Because the moment we go into Pass the Pass Shadow, it, it's, you can come back, but it's really, really hard to come back. Dazzle. Or what up? Actually, I don't know, I don't know if Dazzle's are going on. Okay, so we got Flower Saver, Burn Attacks, and Mario Attacks. Let's get this one. Alright. Let's talk to Merly, because we need to find this, those shines, shine thingies too. Yes. Shine Spark, please. Mm -hmm, I understand. Hocus Pocus Pocus! I'm not doing all that. Because <laughs> I'll be honest with you guys. Oh. I see.
see a shine spine. Underneath the rock part. You leave the building. You go to the right. Let's see, why are you going to blink when I'm transferring sail on it? Oh no, that's that. Okay. Well, because we'll come back. Because we got more trouble to do. Let's go. I don't know what I was talking right now. I mean, did I not do this? I guess I didn't. No, I did not. What the heck? She partially hides, it's low. Now, this is gonna be controversial as heck, but I know why people don't like Strip Star or Color Splash. Because Color Splash, or, well, no, Color, color, color Splash is better. <laughs> um, Sticker Star has no effing story and it, it's just, it's bland. And if we're going for a story, I think I would say Super Super, super Paper Mario and um, this and Thousand Door would have like be tied for best story because Super Paper Mario is it, 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 it's a love story, yeah, but like it's it's actually really good. And this is about this is this one's about saving the world, so you can't really compare the two, but at the same time. The first Paper Mario is, is good, but the story is, you know. Oh, you gotta say, you gotta say Princess Peach from Bowser. It's, it's, your, it's your typical thing. Alright, go, Bob, what do you got? So, Gonzalez, how'd you enjoy your camera, hmm? I'd like to go to the moon and look for some opportunities. But enough of that, I need you to take this to Jarawa immediately. A package? I think John White is back in the far office now. It's about far, about how you can handle this. Indeed. But the first memoir is just, you, you say, Prince Jesus from Bowser. And yeah, it's pretty... Like, this, the first memoir is, the situation is pretty, is pretty effing dire, because... <laughs> Mario, Mario almost dies in, in the first Paper Mario. <laughs> if, if you... If you like Paper Mario, you should go watch my first... Yeah. And go watch my first series, because holy crap. <laughs> And, Cause actually, I, I, well, actually, I did, I did Super Mario first. I don't know why I did that, but I need to go back and watch it because I know, I know, I had a bad capture device when I when I was doing that, and I mean bad. It was one of those cheap E box like, game capture things, and it was so, and it was so bad because it would drop frames and stuff, and it was just ugh. Like that was before I even got, I, I got even, even got an Elgato, so I've had no troubles with Elgato. Well, no, I know. Well, no, that's that's. Excuse me, that's technically a lie because I did have problems with it because I needed a better GPU. Oh, this is Twilight Town. Let me know. Uh, being a small channel, that's <laughs> well, that's a, that's a whole other conversation. I'll get into that later once we deliver this. I thought I saw something right here. Jeez, interrupt my train, my train of thought. <laughs> I really, I really should have thought more, to be perfectly honest, because holy crap. I don't, I don't. I don't feel like strong enough because I, I know the final boss. As I was saying, the final boss, the final boss is hard. Not gonna lie. I mean, I'm obviously, obviously, there's a, there's a secret boss too, which is also hard. <laughs> Spoilers, but there is. So yeah. <laughs> 
So that's the dungeon. That'll be a thing. Where is she? How white? Is he still in his house over here? No. Where the frick is he? You best be in the far up house. Oh man. Where is he? <laughs> is he not in far outpost game? Huh? So why? He's here this morning. The, he said he was going to see. A color bunch of robot or something. Oh god damn it. Alright, so next time. Paper Mario. Thousand dollars. We will go back to roll porch. Well I will just meet you guys there. And we'll see General White. So thank you all for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. Thank you.